Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is DNA Strike. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we're just going to be trying out a bunch of makeup. Um, some of it I bought with my own money. Some of it was sent to me in PR. Some of it might not be super new, but it's new to me. So we just have a lot to try out. I figured I would just make a video about that. Sometimes you guys like more laid back videos. Let's play with makeup together kind of vibe. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Oh my god, I am looking so rough right now. My hair is like so dirty. I have not washed it. Today is wash day, but I needed to film this video first. I have not actually filmed in like a good three weeks. The last two or three videos you've seen were pre-filmed just because I did go out of the country. I also did some wedding planning while I was in Mexico. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that. So I do have another wedding series video coming next week to you guys. But today we are playing with makeup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit. I feel like I almost forgot how to film. Ah! We're gonna start out with just a little bit of skin prep. Um, I did get a PR box from Pure, and I wanted to try some of their products in today's video just because they are doing like a little collaboration with a company called Care. For every product sold in the Pure X Care collection, proceeds from your purchase will unlock a $100,000 donation to Care, and they will help defeat poverty around the world. So I figured why not try some of these Care products. I'm only gonna try two on camera because again, I don't know how new they are or not, but I figured we could highlight that. And some of these products just look very interesting. To prep the skin, I'm gonna be using the Pure 4-in-1 Cloud Cream. This is just supposed to be a gel to water hydrating. I wanted to use it just because, look at this packaging. It kind of reminds me of the Becca, what was that called, like Zero Foundation Foundation? I honestly forgot what it was called, but similar concept of packaging. It's going on very, very lightly. If you've ever used like a water gel moisturizer, it kind of feels like literal water at first. It's actually really nice. For a water gel moisturizer, it feels more hydrating than the other ones usually do feels really really good so far so good i will just use this moisturizer as primer because today we are going to be trying out this puppy right here it's dirty because i swatched it not because i've used it so this is the very famous and viral l'oreal true match nude hyaluronic tinted serum this does have one percent pure hyaluronic acid and i did get the shade four five medium this is supposed to give you an instant radiance with a nude skin effect instantly skin feels hydrated and skin looks healthier over time. So it's kind of like makeup and skincare. I'm not expecting much coverage. I think it's just supposed to be like a skin perfecter. So I'm gonna put a little bit on one side of my face just so that we can see the difference. That's probably enough. And I am gonna be using a brush. Again, I got the shade 45 medium. Don't know how the shade's gonna work out for me, but we shall see. Usually with lighter coverage products or more liquidy, I really do like using a brush to try to get the most out of it. So far it's blending out pretty easily. It's not as yellow tone as I wish it would be to match my neck, but the actual shade I think will work. The one before that was way too light and the one after that was way too dark for me. As you can see, I mean, it's very, very minimal, minimal, minimal coverage but I do feel like my skin does look perfected. And I feel like if you just saw me walking around like this, you probably wouldn't even know that I'm wearing makeup. It kinda just looks like my skin is just more even. You can still see some blemishes and freckles. The overall tone does look very even. My skin obviously looks very hydrated, but it doesn't look or feel super greasy, so I appreciate that. I think on its own, it's looking very pretty, but today I'm definitely gonna test it out with some makeup over it to see if this would also be a good base, kind of like a foundation for just like regular makeup. The only thing I will say is that I already noticed that it's like really, really creasing right here on my smile lines. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it creased very, very quickly. Obviously, it's a very liquidy kind of product. If you don't like that, you should definitely set around your mouth. What is this? 
aside from the undertone, I really do like this so far. I think it looks really pretty. I think you could easily wear this on its own. So let's see how it works with makeup. So for concealer, I'm very excited to be trying um, this new concealer from Catrice. So this is the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid Waterproof 18 Hour Hydrating. I actually have two shades because I want a bronze and I also want to conceal. They did send this to me in PR. I do have every single shade. These are all the shades. I did pick out two. They're only $7 each and there is 15 shades to choose from. You guys know I love a good high coverage concealer that's not going to be super drying. So I chose the shade 092 Warm Spices for bronzing and 039 Warm Olive for under the eyes. I typically like to do like cream bronzing and contouring first because once I put my concealer down, I like to set it right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this everywhere. Obviously, you probably care way more about how it works under the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out pretty quickly. I put some down here just so that it hopefully helps the tone match my neck more. But I forgot that this is probably gonna be very full coverage and I don't know if I put way too much product on. I'm noticing while I'm blending this out that it's not like super, super like creamy, but it actually is blending out pretty well. It's just giving me more of like a velvety, Feel. Blend it out pretty quickly actually on the face and this shade is actually really pretty It's giving me like a very olivey warm tone. So I love that but let's test it out under the eyes I'm gonna go ahead and do one eye first just to see the difference and I'm just gonna apply it how I would apply Any other concealer and I always like to tap very very lightly to get the most coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. So it's supposed to be a comfortable high coverage concealer with moisturizing Hydra Boost Complex. Won't settle into fine lines, fresh and even soft matte finish, covers under eye circles, long lasting and again, waterproof. All right, so that is one eye against the other. The coverage that it did give me is really pretty. It looks very hydrating and healthy and I would definitely use this again. Like so far it looks really, really pretty. Here's a little bit of a close up. See how it's like super hydrating. My whole face just looks very healthy right now with all these products, but it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. It actually has a really nice consistency. So, so far so good. Alrighty, so this is how the face is looking. I am actually loving it. I think it looks so beautiful. So far, so good. So I wanna see how it kind of all works with powder. I am gonna be trying out a new powder today. It's actually from She Glam. I've seen, um, I saw this from Manny MUA. He did a sponsorship for this powder and he said he liked it. So I figured why not try it out? Let me know if you guys would like a full face of She Glam. I've already done that video, but they've come out with like way more like products now so I could definitely do like an updated one comment down below so today we're gonna be trying out the insta ready face and under eye setting powder duo I like to be safe and so I got the translucent one just because they did have different shades but I just didn't know so they do have a pressed powder as well as a loose powder personally I like using loose powder under the eye so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do and then maybe I'll use the press one to see if it'll diffuse my um, what is it called? My pores, like maybe around here later on. I love setting the creams. I always feel so crazy when I look this dewy. It's definitely a very finely milled powder. Looks pretty good, but I feel like it kind of darkened my under eye right here. I don't know. I can see it more on camera than in person, but my skin does look really nice and smooth. And then whatever excess I have, I'm just kind of taking around just because this foundation or the serum is so liquidy and I do like to have everything set. You know, that's it pretty nicely. My skin doesn't feel super matte. It does look nice and diffused. I mean, it's fine. It's not like amazing, but it's fine. I think, I think I'm going to try to see what that pressed powder looks like under the eyes because I think that's what it's meant to do. I just hope it doesn't look like white but it's translucent. Didn't really make a difference. I think it might be the same exact formula, just pressed and loose, which is cool too. I mean, if you like this formula. Yeah, I mean, it looks nice. It's not like, 
oh my god this is amazing it didn't blur out my skin as much as i would like it to and how other powders do but i do think it looks nice and it doesn't look dry and it looks set so for an affordable two-in-one i do like it is it my new favorite powder no but it's nice so the next product that we're going to be trying is actually the patrick ta blush palette but I do need to add some powder bronzer to the skin and maybe some highlights. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. I don't have new products for that. And I'll be right back. I have two. Just be honest with you guys. I've already tried this. There is no way that I could wait. But I did buy this with my own money. Again, this is brand new from Patrick Ta. So this is called the limited edition major headlines blush palette. It does include three powder blushes and three cream blushes. I believe they always come in duos and I believe they're each like $34. This was about 63 which is why I bought it. I figured if I wanted to try out the blush formula, I might as well get this beautiful limited edition palette, especially because all these shades Ugh, sorry for the mirror. All these shades I really like. I love a bright pink. I love a peachy coral and this shade looks like a sunburn. It's really really pretty and I always layer cream and powder so it just it was speaking my name. I'm gonna go ahead and use these two shades today just because I've seen a lot of people use this shade and I wanted to show you guys both of these. Lately I've actually been liking to mix them but before I mix them I'm gonna apply one on each cheek just so you guys can see the formula and like the shade so how patrick ta likes to use these is actually powder then cream which might sound crazy to you but to me it doesn't sound crazy because i sometimes i mean i'm a blush crazy person sometimes i'll put liquid blush on then powder then cream like i just go at it and so he says that this is a way for the cream to really make the powder blush not only stay longer but look more like healthy and skin like so that's what we're gonna do today and just a side note this does have like a little flap right here so you don't get any powder on the cream blushes which i appreciate so first we're going to use this shade which is she's vibrant these powder blushes are so so pigmented so i just kind of tap on tap off the excess and just kind of build it up because it is such a vibrant shade you kind of want to just build it up so that way you don't get too too crazy but let's be honest i will get crazy with this blush so this is what that one looks like i'm gonna go into she's vibrant the cream version and I'm just going to stamp it in and this is not only going to intensify the color but it's also going to bring back a little bit of dewiness to make it more lifelike. So I have tried this obviously very many times and I do have to say that these do last all day. So if you're looking for a long wearing cream and powder blush duo that look beautiful, this is beautiful. And now I'm going to go into this brown looking shade. This one is called She's Baked. And it looks more like a really pretty, like, sunburn. That's, I love this shade. I was kind of worried about this shade at first because I thought it would be too dark for me. But this is probably my favorite shade, actually. And this is what that looks like. And then, again, I'm going to grab the cream version and just stamp it in. So there you go. This one's more corally. This one is more brown red. And like I said, lately, I really have been enjoying using these two together. So I'll go back to the powder and I'll just add the other shades to each other. And I like the shade that it creates. Normally, I wouldn't put this much blush on, but I really wanted to show you guys the shades on their own. And I will say, I know these shades look either too light, too dark, too vibrant, but I do think they're very versatile. I think if you have darker skin, they're so pigmented that I genuinely do think that they're gonna show up on you. And if you have lighter skin tone, just go in with a very, very light hand and just build them up. But these shades are stunning and I do think that this is worth the money if you've been looking for something like this. Okay, I don't have any new eyeshadow or eyeliner, but I do have new mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something on my eyes and I'll be right back to try out new mascaras from Koki Cosmetics. I am back. I decided not to put any eyeliner on. I only put some up here in the waterline for the sake of the mascara. And the only thing I put on my eyes are just some of the mattes in the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. So I have three mascaras to try out. I'm only gonna try out two because I only have two eyes. 
but they're all from Koki Cosmetics. Here they are. So we have one called Volume Fixation, which is for volume. We have one called Lash Euphoria, which which might be for Euphoria. And then we have Maxed Out Mascara. Um, I think I'm going to try out like the volume and the max out and just see how it goes. So this is what the wand looks like on the volume one. So this is supposed to give us a lot of volume. Keep in mind, I did already um, curl my lashes. So let's go ahead and try this out. First impressions is that the formula seems like it's a very wet formula because it's coating my lashes very quickly, but in like a very thin formula kind of way. It's giving me like a very wispy look so far. You know, interesting, it didn't really give me as much volume as I would like, but it did give me length and it looks nice and wispy. It still looks very natural. Keep in mind, I do use an eyelash serum, so I do have pretty long lashes. I link it down below in every single video, but so far, so far it's okay. I think I need to let this dry before I use the second coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the other one on this eye. This is called the Maxed Out Mascara. And this brush is similar to the other one, it's just like way fatter and fluffier. This brush is a little big for me. It's kind of hard to use it without getting like mascara on my eyelid, but it is grabbing my lashes nicely. So that is what that looks like. I think it's giving me a very similar effect, except I think this one, which is the Maxed Out one, it is giving me um, more volume. They're both giving me that long, wispy, beautiful look, but this side is definitely more voluminous. But I always think with mascaras, the second coat does all the talking. So I'm gonna quickly do both second coats and we can compare each eye. I am back and holy lashes. Um, I have to say that out of the two, I like the Max Out better. I do think that the brush is a little bit harder to use because it is so big and fluffy, but I like the effect that it gives me more. Very, very similar to this effect, very similar to the volume fix, except genuinely I think this one just gives you more volume. Um, it gave me a lot of length, like my lashes just look very like wispy and long so if you were wanting more of a natural look um try the volume one but if you want just like a little bit of everything length volume separation just remember it does have a very big brush uh try the max out one i do have a coupon code for about 25 percent off if you guys want to use it it is an affiliate code so i believe we only have lips and setting spray left so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some new products from bk beauty and then we'll set the face with the pure setting spray so if you guys have noticed, I've been using a lot of BK Beauty brushes. They're the ones with this like burgundy handle and I love them. I think I'm in their PR list now, I'm not sure, but they did send me their new lip launch. You should follow me on Instagram if you guys like to see unboxings. But they came out with a range of lipsticks as well as lip liners. For lip liner, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Warm Spice. It is a retractable lip liner and i'm just gonna go ahead and overline my lips per usual very very pigmented very creamy and easy to use so these lip liners are extremely creamy i definitely think that you could use this as a lipstick by itself just because it is so creamy so so far i actually really do like that and the shade's really pretty it reminds me a lot of the shades that i always wear which is just like a more darker mauvey brownie reddish tone if that makes sense and for lipstick, I like this one. This is called Acceptance. Oh my god, that's so light. Whoops. Way too light. Way too light. Um, huh. I'm gonna go in with the darkest one instead, which is called Passion. Yeah, this is more up my alley. These are very, very hydrating. It almost feels like they're melting into your lips. The last product that I'll be using is setting spray. Um, they have different ones. So they have a matte one, which I'll probably put in a giveaway because I have normal to dry skin. They also just have a setting spray, just like a regular setting spray. And then they have an illuminating setting spray. I think I'm gonna use the illuminating one. I love a good illumination. Oh my Jesus. Oh my god, the mister is so <laughs> it's like strong and long, so you have to you have to like do this. 
I really don't like that mister. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I just have so many like spots. So I'm gonna grab my sponge and kind of blend everything together just to see what the formula is like, but that mister is not my fave. I mean, my skin looks beautiful. Let me shish my hair up a little bit and then we can kind of do a roundup of all the products. Okay, so overall, I love the way my skin looks. I love the way my face looks. I think my favorite product that I've tried today or that I just, that is new to me is the Patrick Ta one. I think this is beautiful. Um, the serum foundation, it looks really pretty. It almost looks like I have a real foundation on, not just like a foundation serum because I did use a high coverage concealer. So I think that this is a really nice lightweight option for you. I think it looks beautiful on its own. It looks beautiful with products. And I also think that this would be a really good foundation serum to add to a regular foundation that you want to make more hydrating and maybe thin it out because this is so liquidy and it has the hyaluronic acid. So this might be a really nice product to add to other products. The concealer looks great. I love a good high coverage concealer, especially from the drugstore. It's $7. It looks stunning, it doesn't look drying, and it covered everything that it needed to. The mascaras were pretty good, like I said, I really like the maxed out mascara. And then these lipsticks are really pretty. Like I said, I don't really wear super shiny moisturizing lipsticks because I do overline my lips, so I like things to last. But the formula is really beautiful. If I were to purchase one of these products from the BK Beauty, it would be that lip liner. But yeah, overall, everything else is really nice. There's nothing that I didn't like. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're still watching, comment down below. Um, I don't know, I was about to say a Christmas tree, but like, I know that you guys are probably gonna get mad at me for that. Is it too early to put a Christmas tree up? Because I already put mine up and I already bought one for the studio. Let me know when you wanna see a Christmas tree. If you're still watching this video, comment a black heart. I love those little black heart emojis. So let me know if you guys are still watching. If you're real, comment down below, come say hi. I love you guys so much. Everything will be linked down below that I used on my face today. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Much. I'm so happy to be back. Happy November. I love you. Bye.